I built a hydroponic system for under $20 and you can do it too. It's not hard. Now that being said, I did use some stuff I already had laying around, but it's not really a difficult process. Let me show you what I did. First, I tracked down the cheapest solar powered watering system that I could possibly find. I found this one. It's like $15.99, and of course there's shipping involved, so it comes out to be about 20 bucks. Now what's in the box is some spikes. And this one right here happens to be a mount for the solar power unit, but I'm not using it. A whole bunch of hose, emitters, wires, anchors. There's actually a lot in this kit for the money. We got more wires here. Like I said, there's a lot of hose in this kit. I mean, like a lot, a lot of hose in this kit. Oh, look, more hose. And then there's this thing. And this is the heart of the system. Now, this will run on solar. Got an additional charger right here that uses a USB-C. I recommend you charge this in advance. This right here, this is all of the different settings. It tells you how long it runs. This is how how many times per day. So this is a 12. So that's once every 12 hours. So twice a day. Run for five minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes. And I'm using it on the twice a day for 20 minutes. You can do it once a day, once every two days, and once every three days. If you're going to use it as a hydroponic system, you need to be up here. Just plug it in. Let it charge. Get it all charged up before you start setting it up. That way, once you have it set up, you can hit that little red button start figuring out how to do your settings make sure everything's pumping and working exactly as it's supposed to it doesn't take long but this this helped a lot and then that's the solar panel and it comes with a little screwdriver and as far as directions go those are your the entirety of your directions right there it really doesn't have a write-up it's just got a picture it's pretty easy. There's the control box. The control box is run by the solar panel that I now have up there. I got one hose that goes down into a reservoir down here. Now, this little extra one here is a low water alarm. I'm not using it can if you want and you got your pipe that's where your water is going to flow and then it comes down and you've got a simple T so you cut your lines for the T's and you tee it off and then you just have a little emitter now these emitters are adjustable run it down for the area now in addition you can use pots for this but I use hydroponic grow bags because I had some <clears throat> so I went ahead and I put them to use I've got two emitters per bag it really should be more than that but I kind of like the way this set up It looks pretty good, and it's definitely working very well. Water goes into a trough that's covered by this tarp here. All extra water comes out, goes down, goes through this little piece here, back into the reservoir to be used again later. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick turn on. And it takes it a minute to get going. 
you can see, I have it set where it just drips right in. And these are adjustable. If it flows too high, you can turn it down. If it's too low, you turn it up. And that's a little too high for what I want. Right about there. That's it. It's not hard. Now, that's a very basic hydroponic system. It's not meant for large systems. Although, I've created about a 20 foot section there. And I got two of them. So I'll be putting together a completely different type with one before too long. Now, that being said, I did pull it off for under $20 after everything was said and done. However, if I was to go out and I was to buy everything, eh, it'd probably be about $150. Now, I'm using those hydroponic grow bags. You can use pots with whatever soil you happen to have around. Or you can use cocoa core, which is what's in those bags, is cocoa core, or you can use perlite. It's not a terribly difficult thing, and what makes it hydroponic is the fact that all the water flows back to the reservoir, and then it does it again. And I'm running a nutrient solution in that. Now, I will get to the nutrient solutions that I'm going to be using in my hydroponics in a different video, but that will be coming up. It's not hard to be able to do this stuff. It just takes a little bit of ingenuity. You can go online and look for hydroponic systems and they come with all this stuff. But all you really need is a pump that you can power somehow. In this case, it's solar powered, which is perfect for me because I don't have any power over there. But I've built hydroponic systems out of fish tank pumps on timers didn't cost me much to get it going kind of be inventive now I'm going to drop a link in this video or in the comments of this video for that little system they're not terribly expensive and it's going to more than be capable of doing the job I need now it did take me a whole 20 minutes to set it up and about a day to fine tune it which i'm still kind of doing a little bit now you don't get to set the timer like set, go into it and go oh i want it to come in turn on at seven o'clock in the morning and i want it to come in and turn on at two that time that doesn't work on this one it does it either every 12 hours every 24 48 or 72 for a hydroponic system you're going to want it set in that 12 hour now for me it's kind of most important for it to be coming on right around two o'clock in the afternoon right before the heat gets on with me setting it where it comes on at two o'clock that means it's going to come up on at two o'clock in the morning now, it'd be optimal if i could set it so that it did come on at say seven o'clock in the morning o'clock in the afternoon but you know there's a little give and take here the system's working very well i have cucumbers growing in it they're doing phenomenal so invest in yourself a little system like this something that you can play around with you can learn how to mix your hydroponic fluids you can learn how to set set it up and get the basics you can do it for cheap. And then once you've mastered that, you can go ahead and expand. Now, most of my videos are all about organics and permaculture and how-tos. Well, this is a how-to. It's really simple. It's very self-explanatory directions, although they, they could have given you more information, such as the head of the pump. What that means is how high pump is capable of pumping 
I had to kind of experiment with that to figure it out. And the head of the pump on this is about eight feet, which is more than adequate for me to be able to do what I need to do. Get out there, do some gardening. You have a great day.